Okay, we're live on Sahara TV with the beautiful Miss Africa USA 2014-2015. And this year, you will be passing on your crown. How does that feel? Um, it feels good. I, I've done all my responsibility. It's actually, it, I'm passing it on, like you said. So, of course, to continue on. So, But I'm really blessed to see another girl get this opportunity and do a year of work for her, too. So, this may be a little bit weird, but how long have you always been this tall? <laughs> um, I guess all my life. Um, both my parents are tall, everybody, the whole family. There's nobody short. There's nobody oh, under 5'9 in our whole family. Yeah. How, how was that? Do you date short men? <laughs> These are very easy questions. You just have to, you know. I'm not used to them. I know. Unorthodox a bit, but yeah, you'll get to it. Uh, um, uh, I don't discriminate, but I do like tall. <gasps> I don't discriminate, but I do like tall. Well, yeah, I gotta that, um, keep it in the family. I, I, have, I know what you mean. Keep going. I know what you mean. You don't want to come back home and you're like, why am I looking down at him? Okay, I'm here with the lovely ladies, Miss. Izine. Jasmine. Okay, so Izine, I know you're Nigerian, okay? Not good. No. Not Jasmine. I know, right? <laughs> Jasmine, except your name is Jasmine Amaka. Oh, no. Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. She did my Jasmine. So, what is your What is your What is your Mma. Mma. Yes. Okay, Mma. I want to talk you. You are fine. You know, it's okay. But um, what inspired your outfits? I see people came um, holy and gracious in your whites. Um, this is, I think this season is, you know, this is a white season for fashion. Like, that's what's in fashion white, right white, now. White, so mm -hmm. white, what you, isn't I love white, anyway. You love, you love white? Mm -hmm. How about you? I just wanted to see how I look in white. And then you guys decide just match out as a squad. I respect it, girl. I respect it. All right, guys. So we are backstage right now. These ladies, beautiful, gorgeous ladies, are in their evening gowns. They're ready to grace the stage with their beautiful presence. And I'm just so excited to be here. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to get some exclusive interviews from these contestants. And uh, we'll see who wins tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here backstage with the lovely. Miss Abia State. Oh, Abia and them. You know, that is where my, that's where my father is from. It's a beautiful. Oh, look at you. Look at you. I knew you had flavor to you. Eh? So how long have you been this beautiful? Eh? Well, honestly, <laughs> middle school was a rough patch for me. You know, middle school was a very rough patch for like that was, those were the middle grounds. You know, where you are trying to grow, growing process. You know, you were like the flower. You were the seed that planted, and in high school you bloomed. The <laughs> seed that planted, and in high school you. People and ladies and gentlemen, Miss Abia has said it here. Wisdom for beauty. So you know why I like this Anam Miss Anambra State so far. Because Ike in the back has not been playing with me, pursuing me, bullying me. She said she will now empower me to go and slap Ike if he acts up again. So I thank God for Miss Anambra State. So tell me about how you're feeling tonight so far. I'm feeling very excited. I'm feeling very confident. I'm a little nervous, but you know, it comes with the whole show. What makes you so different from everyone else here? I think the thing that makes me so different is my platform. I'm more so focusing on the beautifying of Nigeria. I want to make sure that Nigeria is well clean, that people have access to clean drinking water, as well as children having clean areas to play, um, playgrounds and facilities. Also empowering our youth to preserve their culture throughout Nigeria. One thing that makes Nigeria um, unique is the fact that we have so many different cultures and so many different tribes, and you have the lesser tribes. So my um, whole goal and mission is to make sure that we preserve those things so in the later generations to come that they will know themselves. Hey, Mr. Nabra says, ladies and gentlemen, she had this thing like planned out like no one is getting me tonight. What do you expect for tonight? Do you, do, if you win, what do you think is going to happen? And if you don't win, how do you think you're going to feel? I know that if I win, it's going to open great doors for me and open many opportunities and allow me to expand my youth empowerment organization, Brains, Beauty and Body, and touch lives all over the world. And if you don't win? And if I don't win, you know, it's just a stepping stone. You get knocked down, you have to get back up. It's lit. After party? After party's lit. After, after party. We're going to be in there like, I'm still pretty. So what inspired you to do this? <laughs> what inspired me to do this? Because I've seen a lot of... Nigerian, young Nigerian women and when they talk it's not, I'm not trying to say people are not smart but it's just their presentation skills is not there, they're self, they don't have a self-confidence, no like no trust about them 
their whole self. So and this event is about encouraging them. It's, it's about encouraging them. You know, you can have, you could be whoever you want to be. Self confidence, presentation skills, all that. That's what we're trying to give those girls a chance, and they could do all this, do it, um, talent, you know, physical, putting in swimwear, and all that. So it's it's about appreciating and promoting young Nigerian women. Let's go, let's go. Backstage with Mr. Banky W at at the first Miss Nigeria USA, and he just finished performing. So, how are you feeling right now? I uh, feel good. Feel good. I'm I'm a little sweaty, but you know it was good. The the crowd response was awesome. Um, the people were definitely very happy to be here. They were very energetic, and that is great for a performer because it's just an exchange of energy. So, I had a great time. Ladies, as you can see, he put the walk in for us. Hello. So, please be grateful. Hello. Hello. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Here at the first Miss Nigeria USA pageant. So why is that? Well, I mean, for, for me, it's, it's kind of personal to me because I was part of the Nigerian community in the U.S. I was born in here. I went to school in upstate New York, studied industrial engineering, graduated, was working in New York. So all of the Nigerian community things I've been a part of. So I was here when they kicked off the reunion. I was here at the first Nigerian Entertainment Awards, the NEAs. Um, so. I, I believe there's a very big and strong Nigerian community in the U.S. We just kind of have to get together and celebrate ourselves more, work together, unite. You know, I think that there's a very strong voice that can come out of here. So for me, you know, because I'm here, my, my entire family lives in Maryland, actually. I'm the only one that lives in Nigeria. So, you know, it's, it's an honor and a privilege for me to support the Nigerian community in the U.S. So when they called me, I said, hey, would you mind coming? I said, yeah, sure. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. And in one of your other interviews, you mentioned uh, empowering women. So what is a powerful woman to you? Um, the definition of a powerful woman to me is my mother, Mrs. Wellington. Shout out to her, Mrs. Rosemary Wellington. She's strong, she's a prayer warrior, she's full of love, she's the most caring person, the sweetest person you ever meet, but she's very accomplished. Um, you know, she knows how to, I don't know how she did it, but she knows how to balance her work life, her career, and her family life, and she never drops the ball in any um, factor. So that is that is the definition of a strong, powerful, blessed Nigerian woman. Mama, I love you if you ever watch this. Just 
So what do you think is the future of this event? Ooh, the future. The future is... No, dream big. You, you, I know, ooh, that's a lot. But you can go there. <laughs> the future with Miss Nigeria USA is to... We, we actually create an NGO, Empower for Change, where we can empower young girls, we could empower them. That they could be whatever they want to be. So, no, you don't have to... You cannot be skinny, fat, whatever you call it. You, you can be whoever you want to be, no matter what. So that's the, that's the plan. I love it. I love it. Very vivid vision. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it live, straight from the innovator's mouth. Joy Ikedi Majiko. I said it right, sir. I said it right. Ikedi Majiko. All right, guys, it's been awesome. We've seen culture. We've seen beautiful ladies. We've seen uh, runway walks. We've seen everything. And it's been quite the experience. Thank you for joining us. And uh, most of all, most importantly of all, we've kept it Nia and Ike show official. So uh, stay tuned for more event coverage and more episodes from us. And uh, we will see you guys later.